I'm Sasha the Shark, and today I'm going to be talking about a very, very hard conditioning practice that I did called Red Flag Day. So, basically, what Red Flag Day is, is it's like a really hard conditioning practice, and it was my first time ever doing it. I've never done one before, and I wasn't really sure what to expect. I wasn't sure if it was going to be like a hard drilling practice, a bunch of live. I wasn't really sure what to expect, and I heard people like, oh, now we're going to do so much conditioning, and I was like... I am like not that good with conditioning but I was just gonna try you know just go and like make it through there and so I'm getting into the practice and we start off jogging and you know and you know you just go for like the first I don't know 30 45 minutes like you go like really hard and you get kind of like tired out oh man you cannot go that hard for like that big half of the practice it is crazy and the practice was just oh my gosh so hard probably one of the hardest practices I did but I need to do those more often especially because they help a lot with you know getting in shape and you know getting more cardio in and it is just an amazing practice I'm really thankful that I was able to go I hope to do more in the future even though that it tired me out a lot I you know really want to do those more often and you know sometimes it's good to you know get a break from doing all the live wrestling and you know being able to go out there and get back in shape and do more sprints and stuff even though the sprints are really hard and people don't want to do sprints sometimes you, you know <clears throat> have to do them so I'm Sasha the Shark, and it is the day after Red Flag Day. I am not going to talk much about Red Flag Day, obviously, since I already talked about that. But I'm just going to, like, say that I am just really tired <laughs> overall afterwards. Um, but I actually felt pretty good, you know, getting back into, like, conditioning and stuff. So I surprisingly felt pretty good. Like, once I, like, woke up and, like, got up and moved around, I was like, hey, actually, that actually kind of helped me. Um... But my thighs are killing me. We had to do, you know, wall sits. I haven't done wall sits in forever. And, you know, we had to do the... I don't remember what they're called. you can probably see them. They're called, like, pop locks or something. I keep on forgetting what they're called. Zippers. That's what they're called. Those things kill my legs. I did, like, one good set of them. And my legs were just like that. Yeah, so my legs are probably the number one thing that are tired. Um... Overall, I'm pretty sore, especially, like, my back is pretty sore, but I was able to get that, like, more stretched out. And, uh, today was a bit of a lighter practice. I, uh, Dante taught a no-gi class, so, not like a wrestling practice, but, you know, a no-gi class, so it's not a gi class, not like a, you know, still felt like a bit like wrestling, since, especially because we worked takedowns today, which was really good, um, we were takedowns in, like, the start as, like, more as, like, a warm-up, and then we did some, like, we did a really cool thing with, like, a scarf choke kind of thing. I don't think I've ever learned that. Maybe I have, I don't remember, but, like, oh, my God. I need to use that more, like, a scarf choke, like, kind of thing. You can use that as, as a setup, but I'm pretty sure that you can still use that. I don't know, but I think that it is, like, really, really cool, and I want to do that more often. Um, it was a really good practice. I went to, I got to go with Dante today, and I really love rolling with Dante. I really love going with, like, any of the coaches in general. Like, I just think that it's, like, so cool, especially because, like, they all have, like, such different games. So I'm, like, able to go with a coach, and I'm, like, I, like, get to learn their game more. And the more I go with them, the more I learn their game. And I think that it's, you know, just so cool. And tomorrow I have another practice. I think it's two practices. I know that it's gi, for fact. Um, but, you know, getting back more into the jujitsu, kind of.
kind of stuff. I feel like I haven't been a jujitsu in forever, and I know that I say that a lot since I've been wrestling lately, but I just kind of feel like I haven't been there. But it's really, really good to get back in the field, especially, you know, with, like, Dante and, you know, teaching more stuff. I really love it when Dante teaches, and I feel like whenever I come back, it's like... I'm like rejuvenated. I'm like, oh my gosh, like look at all this new stuff I'm learning. Sometimes I feel like I like forget things and I'm like, maybe I did learn this before. But it's so good to refresh stuff, especially if I thought that that stuff was really useful, you know, back then. And now I'm like, oh wow, you know, it's really good to use this. Um, but yeah, very good practice today, especially good to, you know, kind of still be able to move around. It's not like a full like red flag day. But yeah, so a bit lighter practice, you know, uh, recovering from Red Flag Day. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching my video. Make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, and follow my Instagram. Bye.